The second control of the business requirements of access control is called, access to networks and network services. A policy should be created to set rules for the use of networks and related services. Since a network provides connections to most devices connected to it, access should be controlled. Access to networks is a major part of the logical access to an organization's assets. Assuming an organization has segmented networks, access to each segment should be allowed only to users based on business requirements. The same goes for network services, as per the need to use model. For example, a public relations employee might need full access to social media sites, however, a finance employee might not. If there is a business need for a user to have access, then a formal authorization procedure should be followed, and approval should be obtained from the relevant entities. Access should be made secure, by using user authentication, passwords, VPNs, encryption, and other measures. Monitoring of network access and the usage of resources should be done, and abnormal events should be immediately reported. Wired connection access to the network should be secured as well, to avoid someone gaining physical access to the premises, and just plugging his device to an unattended network port. If the company allows guest access, it should be very limited, controlled and monitored. It is critical that guest users have no access to the internal network of an organization. In the case of third-party staff requiring network access, to provide maintenance services for example, the access should be controlled and revoked once the job is completed.